Hi, and welcome to another episode of the VIP Sound Lab. I'm your host, Joe Fontaine, and in this video, we're going to take a look at importing custom drum kits. Right now, I'm using Machine as my DAW of choice. I'm going to go to my desktop. As you can see right here, I have a Machine B-Slab HD drum kit. When you download drum kits off the internet, nine times out of ten, they're going to be in a compressed zip folder. When I open the zip folder, you notice I have the machine kits labeled here. If you try to open your machine kits from a zip folder, nine times out of ten, machine will load the project, but unfortunately, you have to locate the sounds. So to simply prevent this from happening, if you're on a PC, you can right click and you can create a new folder. Copy the original zip folder and name your new folder as I've done here. I labeled it the exact same name here that was inside the zip folder here. I'll now take this folder and add it to my library of sounds in my computer where I normally keep my drum sounds. As you can see right here in machine, in the browser section, we can locate sounds here by simply typing a sound in. We also have the option to go to our hardware controller by selecting the browse button. You notice that we can select our attributes in the filter section by master, group, as well as sounds. By turning the filter knob on the hardware controller, we can access different attributes and filters, such as loading instruments directly from the hardware controller. If I was to select filter, go to bank, I can select monarch. Or massive, for example, I can go by the types as well as the subtypes to load different instruments. The last button on the machine hardware controller, you can select load and load up an instrument directly from the hardware controller. The reason why I want to mention this, this is exactly the same way that you're going to load your drum sounds. For example, if I was to go to the disc tab, if I was to simply highlight the folder here, right click and press import to library, machine will now import the entire folder's contents into the library of machine. You notice that a menu comes up where machine starts to ask for the attributes of that particular folder. I will select add new. Just for the sake of the video to make things a lot easier, I will just put ni. Well, no, it's created by us. So we'll, we'll just name it beast and we'll add lab beast lab for the type. We'll just add VIP subtype drum kit. Click the OK button. Machine will now import the library as well as all of its content. As you can see, I loaded that folder from the disk tab. You have the disk tab and you also have the library tab. Now on the library tab, what we'll do is we'll go to the filter known as user. And as you can see right here, the banks are arranged in alphabetical order from A to Z. Beast Lab, being that it starts with a B, shows up as the first bank, where the user bank starts with a U, is up under it. In Machine, any type of project that you save will usually show up up under your user banks. So here's the Beast Lab drum kit, the type, as well as subtype. You notice that the Machine kits immediately show up in the results list below. If we want to load the sounds, or rather browse the sounds directly from the kit, we can select the individual subfolders that are inside the kit. We have icons here where we can mute the sounds where we don't have to pre-hear them, or we can select the icon here if we want to hear the sounds in real time. You have a volume icon here to control the volume of each sound as you're browsing through them. You also have a refresh icon here, or a lot of times this icon can be used to actually load particular plugins. 
if we were to go to the machine kits folder here, you will notice that the machine sessions are now visible. You can select on any drum kit here and the project will load inside machine. For example, if I was to click on this pad assassin drum kit here, discard the original session, you would notice that the drum kit now loads up. We do not have any error messages such as missing samples. Again, my name is Joe Fontaine, the VIP Sound Lab. Thanks for watching.